Hi, I'm Luke Walton, and you're watching the Sports Desk, Channel 3. Still here at the South Spartan football game where they're playing California Military Institute rather well, and we'll let you know how they do by the end of the game. But let's go ahead and talk about Torrance Tartar Volleyball. They lost Katie Judd. That is a huge loss to Nathan Jones' squad. Ghazal Hassan, sports desk reporter, went out and about two torrents, and he'll tell you all about it. The sneakers can once again be heard on the gym floor at Torrance High School. The girls' volleyball team, under the stewardship of coach Nathan Jones, returns to action in the Pioneer League. The Lady Tartars need to replace six seniors, including four starters. Co-captain Lindsey Thompson returns for Torrance, but herself will be in a new position, moving from hitter to setter. I think our biggest competition is probably south and north. And I mean, it, it's just we're excited. I mean, because we have a lot of new juniors on our team, so they're probably a little nervous, but hopefully we get through it. There's a rich volleyball tradition at Torrance High, starting with head coach Nathan Jones, who himself played for the Tartar Boys Volleyball team in the 90s. But he's not selling this year's edition short. They can set, set a real example. You know, we, we didn't go to the playoffs last year. Um, we're probably not, if you ask around, we're probably not expected to go to the playoffs this year. So these girls could really, you know, say something about what, what a work ethic of a team means but I am go out and shock some people and, and stay true to the development from freshman level through varsity level. The Lady Tartars will face a tough non-conference schedule, which is sure to challenge them and expose their weaknesses. But Coach Jones believes this is all part of the process in developing a team. We're trying to stay pretty optimistic because we feel like we can still compete with all the other teams, even though we have pretty much a whole new team and we're pretty scrappy, so I'm excited to see what we have for season. So while there might be questions on where the Lady Tartars finish in the standings, there's no doubt they're a close-knit unit, most of whom have been playing together since their freshman year. Coach Jones hopes that familiarity can translate into success in the Pioneer League. Reporting from Torrance High School for the Sports Desk, Ghazal Hassan. Thanks to Ghazal Hassan for that report. The Tartars' key returners are Lindsey Thompson, who's the right side hitter, Tori Takata at Libero. The key losses are, of course, Katie Judd, who's playing for San Francisco State University. I like your coach, Leo Clem. He's pretty nice. Uh, he's a good man. He is a good man. How are you guys looking this year? Well, uh, we're really focusing on varsity, and uh, we're all together on chemistry, and uh, we're really clicking this year, and uh, we really support our teammates all together. That's a pretty good answer, Justin. That actually brings me to the Bishop Montgomery Knights because they're always very supportive of one another, but they are without the beast, otherwise known as Rachel Clark this time around. They're still in the Del Rey League. How are they going to fare? Well, Juan Hernandez goes out and about to Bishop Montgomery, and I'll tell you all about it. Thanks, Bonnie. After sending Rachel Clark off to the University of Virginia, the challenge facing this year's Lady Knights is going to be finding a way to win while returning just two starters from last season. A tough task at hand because, as Coach Kerry Ray and I talked about, when you play volleyball in the South Bay, there's no time for a rebuilding year. Now we have a younger group coming up, and there, it's a lot of reteaching and relearning for them and for me too, so it's a good thing. It's like, I'm just going to watch and you ladies figure this out and learn from each other. Um, We've done some team bonding things, and I'm just looking to see who appears to be the leader and wants to be the leader. Senior libero Carly Naramore and sophomore outside hitter Bria Green are the two ladies with starting experience heading into 2010 and likely candidates to provide that leadership. Bria, no longer the youngest on the team, is doing just that by remembering the lessons last year's squad passed on to her. And she gave me a lot of tips for this year to be better than her. Not to be just Rachel Clark, to be a better Rachel Clark, plus be a Bria Green and have more and give more to the team than just the middle or just an outside. So I have to put in more and be more of a mature player out on the court to show and to be an upperclassman on the court to the freshman who's on the team to kind of give her my tips of how it was last year. The experience, I think, It'll take us a couple games to get used to it, but once we do that and we get used to playing around each other and realize what each other's weaknesses and what each other's strengths are, I think we'll be a great team. The Knights are a taller team than previous years. With a new setter and Green making the move to outside hitter, one might expect offense to be a question mark on this squad. 
but they consider themselves a strong passing team. And the sophomore playing outside is no slouch at the net. So look for these ladies to be a strong offensive force this year. And while you're at it, watch out for them to make some news off the court as well. Well, as usual, I have these overachievers, and uh, their goal really is to be an academic All-American team. They want to win CIF, of course, um, but their other goal is to achieve an academic All-American banner in this gym. They need a cumulative GPA or an average GPA of 3.65. And you think that this is the year that they're going to do it, huh? I hope so. Quite a few girls are in the AP classes. Um, my AP biology class, there's four or five girls out there already. And then I know that they also have AP Lit class and AP U.S. History at the same time. So playing in the winnable Del Rey League while chasing an academic All-American honor means a lot could be in store for the 2010 Lady Knights. What can we expect? Well, just like the team itself, we'll have to learn as the season goes on. We just have to get better every time we step in the gym. That's always our goal. And so I think we just keep working towards that and we'll be okay. And then at the postseason, when it really counts, we should be like a finely oiled machine. You know, it's not where you start, it's where you finish. Thanks so much to Juan Hernandez for that report. The Lady Knights key returners are Bria Green and Carly Naramore. And of course their key loss is the beast, Rachel Clark, who's playing for University of Virginia. Good luck to the Lady Knights as they go on in the Delray League. Coming up after this short break, we go out west to see who's best on the Lady Warriors volleyball court. <laughs>